I'll call you later. Okay? Here yeah. she is. Bye. I'm coming. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I had a phone call. Yes, this is my friend that I was speaking about. He's your friend. <laughs> yes. He's got to be kidding me. Ah, yes. You remember the guy I told you about? Mm -hmm. It's him. Oh, he's the one. Hello, viewers. My name is DJ Oman, the director of Oxide Chronicles. We want to say a big thank you for helping us reach our limit. For liking, commenting, and sharing our videos. Please keep doing that. Invite more friends to help so that we all push ourselves up there. Yeah, and we want to say a big thank you. I'm saying a thank you because we are grateful for what you did for us. I and my team are here to wish you the best. Kiri Pai, what's up? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <coughs> what's up? How are you doing? I'm okay. Oh. It seems uh, you don't feel alright. What What's wrong with you? Do I look like someone doesn't feel alright? But as I asked what's up, it seems like he wasn't feeling alright. But just by the way, let's forget about that one. Um. <coughs> Uh, can I get your number so that we can have some vibes in the night? Just now, you standing here under this scorching sun, I don't think I can uh, say whatever that I want to say to you just now because maybe your heart will be boiling and stuff. But I would like to talk to you in the evening. So if you don't mind, you can holler me your number so that we talk in the evening. What's up? How you done? Oh, sure, sure. I just want your number so that we can link up this evening. You are done with what you wanted to say. Yeah, so is that why you saw me and then you came back? Hmm? You know, uh, your beauty was so attached to me to the to extent that I couldn't resist than to come back and tell you that I want your number. You know. So how many girls have you actually said this to on your way here? No, no. You know what? Uh, like. Nobody has even impressed me to say this to. You are the only one that I just saw and you see the way I quickly run back to tell you this, you know. So you expect me to take your 2 by 4 vibes into consideration? Huh? <laughs> you know, uh... Don't you think you are too old for this? Oh. Huh? Just look how you are dressed. You are sweating. You are very sweaty. Instead of you going ahead and going to do whatever you want to do, you come here to just get on my nerves. Hmm? But me and that is coaching son. How? How? how like, get yourself a I... handkerchief or a packet tissue. Okay? Rather unfortunate, I left my handkerchief in a car. <laughs> yeah. No. You left your handkerchief in a car. Yeah, um, your, your first vibes didn't work and now you're trying to convince me you own a car. With this, this. So, um, uh, if I may ask, are you going to give me the number or, or like? Because if I, I can't just say that, uh, like, like, uh, it, it, the word is even heavy. Like, I, I can't wait to say that uh, I want to move with you. You are getting on my nerves. You are seriously getting on my nerves. Okay, I'm here waiting for the boat I ordered and it's not in and instead of you just passing by and minding your own business you step back come here and get on my nerves isn't that it are you done with if you are done with whatever you want to say just leave get out of my sight really? I don't want to have anything to do with something like you okay I just go sleep. I said leave leave me in peace goodness just leave me in peace. So for the advice I gave you. Use that on school girls, not me.
long time no see. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Well, it seems like you are so much excited. <laughs> I was actually headed somewhere, but oh, okay. I'm, I'm I'm glad I met you. Oh. That place can actually wait. I wanted to talk to you about something. I've been oh. trying your line and it's not going through. Oh, sorry. Nowadays, I've been facing problem with my phone. You see, I'm not even having a phone. You've not registered. Your phone is spoiled. Spoiled. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. It's That's even why. a good thing I met you here. Oh, why? Is there any problem? Well, I have um, I have something to tell you. I'm mm. going about something. But first, okay. There's something that actually happened on my way here. That's got me smiling. Okay. <laughs> What's that? The way you are laughing. <laughs> I actually met this guy. Mm -hmm. You already know how things are when you meet these guys on the streets. I was actually waiting for my driver, a boat. I ordered for boat, so I was actually waiting for the boat driver. Mm -hmm. And these people, I don't even know what to say. I was waiting for him and then mm. there is this guy who was passing by. He's so sweaty. As you could see the sweat in his clothes and oh. when this guy approached me, can you believe he used kindergarten vibes to try to woo me? <laughs> Thanks. Who, who, even, who even uses those? I'm like like, seriously? Who even uses I saw you and your beauty um captivated me or what Maybe was feeling hot in fact. I'm feeling hot. It was it was that bad. And I was already pissed off because the driver wasn't in. Okay, I, I, I think I made a mistake with the direction. So he got the other, he went to the other junction instead of where I was. And this guy just came to irritate me to even increase my anger. <laughs> but please, please. You should have just see. seen him. But this kind of vibes is used for even kindergarten or even grown up. They, they, it can't even work on them. And it, hey, this yeah, one. For I, I, don't, I, I wish to see the kind of person he is. You'll like, be, you'll be, well, you'll be quite disappointed and ask if um, um, I've actually lost my, you know. <laughs> but well, I know that. With that aside, I actually just talk to you about a job. Oh, okay. What's, well, why? Hmm. Have I, you lost your other job? No, it's because I moved. I moved from the place. You know, I was taking mm. a car, going in and out and stuff. Oh, okay. So it wasn't helping. Mm. I ended up receiving the pay and almost all my, my salary is into... Oh, these these jobs they are not paying well. They're not, they are not even paying well. So I had to well. resign. I had to resign, and the boss is actually um, facing certain challenges. Mm. And because of that, he had to reduce our salary by ten percent. Can oh. you believe that? How much was I even receiving? Like seriously? And then you you deduct ten percent from me just because you are facing problems. Well, hmm. I, I I decided to resign and find another job. And you know. Okay. My number one plug. <laughs> it's a good thing I actually met you. If I hadn't still gotten in touch with you, I decided mm. to come to your house. Oh, and okay. then I met you here. So. Oh, okay. I was even on my way going to get something really? to buy. Yeah. But I wanted to know if you knew anyone at all. Um, anyone? No, I did accounting. Let me see. I have so. someone. Okay. I have someone. Well, he, he has money. Okay. He has money. He's. He's the CEO of a, a big company, so I will try and contact him. And I'm coming, please. Okay, let me pick this call. Hey! Hi! Hi. Long time. Long time no see. How are you? Oh, fine, are you? I'm good, but why are you going? Why are you dressed like this? You are four people. <sighs> Actually, I intentionally took a day off not oh. to go to the office today. So I was just maintaining my garden, like oh. doing one or two things in the garden. So oh, okay. I decided to go and check on my friend B over there. Oh, okay. okay. So what are you doing here? But I was going to buy something before I met my friend. Yes. Friend? Yes. But um, a friend of mine told me that she needed a job and then... Well, thinking of it, you are the only friend that I have that you have, you know, money and then you are also the CEO of a company. So that's why I wanted to plead with you. So if you can help her, you understand? Uh, she is even the one. She just had a call, so she said she's okay. coming. Okay. Um, so let's just... You know what? Me too, I'm even searching for somebody because my accountant just uh, told me that she just like she just wants to go and uh, okay. visit her sick mother and she don't know that actually like actual time mm. she will be back mm. and you know 
I can't just let uh, I can't just let that place be there. Mm. I do just like that, so I have to hire somebody to replace her. Oh, so I was even searching for one, and somebody called me that she too will bring somebody so that I can examine the person. Oh please, that's why I pay. Uh, please, please just take my sister, okay? And you know me and you, I can't just drop your sister and take that person. Yes. You don't worry. Yes. Let the, let that person come in. Okay. Okay. We see if we get a value. Okay. So you said she's having yeah, a Yeah, she's having a post, okay. so she's coming right now. Alright, alright. Okay. Oh, so. Anyway, how is work? Oh, Charlie, everything is going on nice. Oh, okay. Really nice. Okay. Just that, uh, hmm. I don't know what is going on now because I took a day off. I myself couldn't go to the oh, office, okay. so. Okay. Unless. Hmm. So you, you, you let your friend come so that. Okay. Is that your sister, right? Oh, yes, she's my friend, but I used to call her my sister. Okay, she's okay, my you, you let her come down. Okay. You know what to do. These people, when I'm not in, yeah. in the office, I do calling and so, messages. I'll call you later, okay? Here yeah. she is. Bye. I'm coming. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh -huh. sorry, I had a phone call. Yes, this is my friend that I was speaking about. He's your friend. <laughs> yes. He's got to be kidding me. Ah, yes. You remember the guy I told you about? Then mm -hmm. I it's him. Oh. He's the one. Then I think you really insulted the, the bad part. Why? Why do you say that? Like, he's the one. He's the CEO I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no. You've Why? got to be kidding. This guy can't be a CEO, no. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. so you <sighs> do not check the dressing, okay? Do not look at the appearance. He's the CEO of that company. You don't believe me? So you are serious? <laughs> Girl, have I ever lied to you? Ah. Why do you two know each other? The way you people are squeezing He's your the faces. guy I... I told you about the kindergarten vibes. So this is the friend you're talking about. And you are still telling me that... I'm having a kindergarten vibes. Look, you know, You know what? You don't need to know somebody before you got to respect or be polite to the person. Because I approached you, I came by myself. I approached you, I told you that I want your number. You don't even know what I'm going to talk to you about work or it's a proposal or something. You just give me your mind by insulting me here and there calling me sort of names. You even just called me once, like just now, that yes. I am, I'm having a kindergarten vibes. <laughs> okay, my work too is a kindergarten company, so no, you please. being an uh, J uh, SHS student, so then I can't take you in my kindergarten company. Please, she's Simple. very, very sorry, okay? Okay, she was just I, kidding. That's was the way just, she used to, to, to yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, I, I have no idea okay, you. okay. She's uh -huh. sorry. You, you were the one. You approached me with those vibes. You were trying to. You were trying to woo me, but I had no idea you, you were. But if 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 I'm trying to propose to you or something, like am I a cripple? I'm not. Just yeah. apologize to him. So okay. so so like like you telling me sort of uh, words that you talking. You know what? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Please, we are sorry. The thing is, okay. the thing is. It won't work. I, mean, I told you earlier that somebody just called me. Can you? But please, can you please? At least. That? You know what? You I'm, sorry, I'm sorry for. I'm sorry for the way I approached you. I was already pissed off when, when okay. you met me. Okay. And I ended up. Apology accepted. Home. But I want to go and check my kindergarten stuff. So you later. Oh, please, please don't do that. I, are you sure you are going to pick her? I said, I've, I've forgiven her, but okay. I'm going to pick my kindergarten. Uh, stuff. So I just want to go and check on them. I wish you would give me a good, a good place, please. right? I hope so. It's no. not going to be possible. I'm, I'm sorry. You, you, let, let me check on my thing. Oh. 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 What have you done? I think we should change from this. Always insulting people according to their, their appearance. It's not good. It's not even fair. I, I, I had no idea of who he is. Because he's a man of a good heart. I think if you had, if you had not insulted him to that level, he wouldn't have, you know, done this. He wouldn't have just, ah, now you've lost the job. 
let's go, okay? I have another friend. Let's see if I can talk to that person. I'm really grateful, okay? Thank you very much. So the money you've gotten is not okay for you. Can't you find can't you find a job to do? Huh? Can't you just go out there? Are you are you better than your colleagues who are sending their CVs to companies to get jobs? Hmm? And you sit here and you're not shame like you, you have no shame to ask a lady like me to give you money. Hey, what's wrong with you? Go and find a job to do, okay? Go and find a job to do. Just look at him. Let me see. You have, you even have the the gas to buy a duster to cover your head for for, for the prevention of sun. Yeah, the sun is too hot for you. Go and get a job. Hello, viewers. My name is DJ Oman, the director of Oxide Chronicles. We want to say a big thank you for helping us reach our limit, for liking, commenting, and sharing our videos. Please keep doing that. Invite more friends to help. So that we all push ourselves up there yeah and we want to say a big thank you i'm saying a thank you because we are grateful for what you did for us i and my team are here to wish you the best Madam, so, sorry, please, um, can I get something? You're asking me for money. Do you think I have, I'm holding money? Hmm? I was just wondering if you can give me some small money. So, so the money you've gotten is not okay for you? Can't you find, can't you find a job to do? Huh? Can't you just go out there? Are you, are you better than your colleagues who are sending their CVs to companies to get jobs? Hmm? And you sit here and you're not shame like you you have no shame to ask a lady like me to give you money hey, what's wrong with you go and find a job to do okay go and find a job to do just look at him let me see look at this. you have you even have the the gas to buy a duster to cover your head for for, for the prevention of sun yeah the sun is too hot for you go and get a job you're not better than those who are going around looking for a job. Even if you like, go and sell pure water, okay? Carry it on your head. You're not better than them. Useless man. Madam, small, small money. guy like you you are begging why what like what's wrong I don't even know what to say like you know <clears throat> actually uh, I have time to listen to whatever is the problem because look you look 
better than this. I don't know why you are begging. Fine guy like you are begging. But what's the problem? It started um, the time I finished my university. Um, I began looking for a job, an employment. I went to places. So a guy told me that he has a connection somewhere. That, you know, you can connect me to some people. I can find a job outside the country and stuff like that. So through those connections and things, I I actually went through and I had to borrow a loan and stuff like that too. So I couldn't pay back the loan and I was ejected out of my house. And now I'm homeless. So I need to at least beg to at least find something to eat. Wow. Don't you have a family? Like family, they are not here. They are somewhere far away. Wow. And I can't reach anybody. So you mean you don't have any place to stay? I don't have anywhere. I sleep, I sleep on the street in front of people's shops. Wow. So, I really want to help you. I don't know if you are ready. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. So, what exactly can you do? Um, I can do anything. I can be your secretary. I can, can be a receptionist. I can, I can even wash dishes. So, what exactly do you have? Like, um, I have my certificate um, of the university I finished. Okay. Yes. Actually, I really want to help you, you know, sitting here begging for money. By the end, you may get the money that you want to feed yourself for, the, for a day. But I really want to, you know, give you something that at least you can feed yourself for more days ahead of you. you see, you can't be sitting here begging. Every day people give you money. Then you go back, you enjoy yourself. You come back and sit here again. So I really want to offer you something. Something that can sustain you at least for so I want to give you my card so that you give me a call. Okay. I want you to officially dress tomorrow. After a call, then you meet me. Thank you so yeah. much. Because thank, you can be so you are you are you are fine to be begging like this, okay? So I'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm at the office. Um, okay. I think I'll be around, so I'll be expecting you. No problem, no problem. Yeah, about that, when you come, I'll, 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 yeah. We'll talk about it when you come, okay? Okay, bye. Yes, how can I help you? Um, good afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. And please, I, I saw the vacancies that this company is looking for um, workers, and, and I realized accountants were also included. So I want oh, to... that's very true. That's very true. We are looking for accountants, and we are looking for workers. So uh, may I ask your name? Um, um, Mavis Autry. Mavis Autry. Yes, please. Okay. So are you a university student or are you a graduate or? I'm actually a graduate and I've been I've worked as an accountant for um, a bank before, a multi credit union. Okay. That's I've very worked good. as an accountant for four good years. Okay, that's nice. Um, so can I ask you some questions? Uh, yes, please. Very good. Um, so what do you think you can possibly do to? Um, add to the company or you know in any way you can help improve the company okay I believe in teamwork okay and I believe that if I'm being employed I will help set the company and and introduce you to the world you know like introduce it to various things help improve upon certain things in the company do my job well and then be able to help build it's more than where it is. 
you know, working with my fellow colleagues in order to help improve on the company's activities and also set the company out to the world as well. Yeah, right, right. Um, one last question, okay. Let's say you were a beggar and um, through some things and trials, tribulations and, you know, you were university graduate, then through some things you become a beggar. You know, you are passing through a lot. So now you become homeless and now you are a beggar. And, um, you know, beggars, they ask for arms, for money yeah, from people true. along the roadside. And, you know, let's say you came across a certain lady who you asked for money. And instead of this lady saying either she didn't have money, she rather insulted you and just, I don't know, insulted your whole life. If you were this beggar, right? and you later become somebody big in some company. Would you employ this lady if she came asking you for a job? No, I wouldn't because from the onset, she was rude. So there wouldn't be any proof that she wouldn't be rude to clients when she works at that place. That's a very, very good answer. Um, I think some years back, I remember your face vividly I don't sure if you remember me because of the way I'm dressed. But I was once a beggar. I was a university graduate. I passed through hard times and I became a beggar. Started asking for arms and money along the roadside, as I told you. And I remember coming across you. Yes, I came across you and... Madam, Madam, so, sorry, please, can I get something? You're asking me for money. Where did I have? I'm holding money. Hmm? I was just wondering if you can give me some small money. So, so the money you've gotten is not okay for you. Can't you find? Can't you find a job to do? Huh? Can't you just go out there? Are you Are you better than your colleagues who are sending their CVs to companies to get jobs? Hmm? And you sit here and you're not shame. Like, you, you have no shame to ask a lady like me to give you money. Like, what's wrong with you? Go and find a job to do, okay? Go and find a job to do. Just look at him. Let me see. You have you even have the, the gas to buy a duster to cover your head for, for for the prevention of sun. Yeah, the sun is too hot for you. Go and get a job. Instead of you saying you don't have any money and just walking by, you, you decided to disgrace me, to insult me. You know, regardless of who I might be, that doesn't give you the right and the, you know, the privilege to insult anybody. I was, so, I was so heartbroken when you said that. So you mean you were that guy from... Yes, I don't know if you can see me. I was that guy. And, um... That faithful day also, my helper located me, and here I am today. And um, for your information, I'm the manager here. And um, I'm sorry to say, I can't give you any job here. I can't employ you. So um, I'll just kindly say you take your leave. <clears throat> Can you please reconsider? At oh, least no. let me go through the interview to see if I'm qualified enough. This is the interview, and you're not qualified, because I've said so. I'm sorry, so you can kindly leave. When you're coming, I was making a call. So I need to get back inside and continue with my business, okay? Have a nice day, okay? God. How could a beggar become. Huh. So I just lost this job.